Roman from the introduction. Good morning. My presentation is about the mechanical characterization of an albumin alloy containing chromium. Uh, during my speech, I will cover a short introduction about the alloy composition and the uh, typical application of this alloy. Then I will talk about experimental procedure and the main results achieved. And finally, we present some conclusions in the future. First of all, I will show you the chemical composition of the alloy. As you can see, there is a silicon content between 3 and 4 percent, which is low if compared with typical casting uh, aluminum alloys. But on the other hand, it's also too high to consider this material a water alloy, an alloy for plastic deformation processes. And this is the first, let's say, non-conventional aspect of this material. Then also magnesium is present as main strengthening element. And then chromium uh, between 0.3 and 0.4% was added to the chemical composition. Finally, it's also important to consider the present of ion, which is usually an impurity present in this kind of alloy, but <coughs> which can uh, strongly affect the microstructure and the mechanical properties of this material. Uh, why do we want to study this alloy? This alloy is currently used for an innovative process called hybrid aluminum forging for the production of travel wheels. Uh, there's just a pilot plant, so the process is still under development, but our uh, aim is to understand the potential uh, mechanical properties of the material. Uh, that why there's chromium inside this uh, alloy. Uh, the first effect of chromium addition is the modification of the morphology of this uh, ion containing intermetallic particles, which, which uh, usually is present as, uh, with a needle-like morphology. Due to the presence of chromium, we can have very uh, different morphologies. These are just representative <coughs> Im images to uh, have an idea of how much the shape of these particles can change due to chromium addition. And uh, furthermore, also uh, for, especially for rotaloid, Chromium uh, lead to the formation of dispersoid that are um, precipitates which form during heat treatment at high temperature, usually studied for both alloy. The main aim of this research are the investigation of tensile properties and impact toughness, with particular attention to the role of these intermetallic particles and to the effect of the aging treatment parameters. Finally, a comparison was carried out with a typical performance of A356 alloy, which is widely used for the production of the counties. Uh, experimental procedure. We took the samples from low pressure die cast uh, components, so not for uh, wheels produced with innovative technique, just to avoid all the issues related to the optimization of this process, which is still under development. Uh, some of the samples were tested in this cast condition, other samples instead were heat treated. Solution treatment and quench condition were fixed, while we changed the aging parameters. So we tested two different temperatures and different times. Uh, we performed, uh, first of all, uh, micro hardness measurements and then the side test and sharp impact test. And samples from this test was, were also observed by SEM to analyze the fracture uh, surface. <coughs> First of all, of course, we perform also the microstructural characterization, so you can have an idea of the typical microstructure of this material. Here I try to underline the presence of intermetallics, uh, which are much more evident from SEM images. So this is the typical morphology. Uh, we don't have the needle like, but these more uh, sometimes rounded, sometimes more polygonal uh, morphologies. And here is the chemical composition, so we can see that chromium is present together with ion. Uh, we went also to, the, to higher magnification, and here we realized that chromium led also to the formation of these precipitates, these dispersoids, which are also present in this alloy, and uh, we confirm the presence of chromium. Uh, let's go to the mechanical properties. Here are the aging curves <coughs> in terms of uh, Lickers micro hardness. It is evident that increasing the temperature as expected, we reached earlier the peak condition without, in this case, a significant 
loss in harmonies. Uh, this difference is not so evident instead if we consider the side properties. The difference between the performance of the material changing the temperature is not so evident if we consider the strength of the material, both ultimate and side effects that we need. Uh, more interesting are the information regarding the irradiation. In fact, it is possible to see that if we perform an aging treatment at 190 degrees, already after one hour of aging, we have a severe drop in elongation, which is not suitable. Uh, so it is suggested to perform a heat treatment at 160 degrees. And with uh, heat treatment between one hour and four hours, we can ensure an elongation between four and six percent. Here are the uh, fracture surfaces in different heat treating conditions. Uh, the, the fracture is mainly uh, ductile and uh, intergranular, so it falls into the network. Even if sometimes it's also mixed uh, fracture, as you can see here, we have also some uh, part with the aluminum matrix on the fracture uh, surface as shown from EDS analysis, it's mainly aluminum. If we consider the impact toughness of the material, again we uh, see that the heat treatment at higher temperature uh, lead to a um, very fast loss of uh, impact energy and so also in this case uh, heat treatment at lower temperature is suggested always for short uh, times and again the typical surface function is if we go uh, now to consider the role of intermetallic particles, we will still see the difference. Because if we consider tensile uh, specimens, we found intermetallic particles, but uh, not uh, cracked. They likely just attach from the matrix. Why? When we observe the uh, specimens from impact test, we found several cracked intermetallic particles. So this suggests that these uh, particles play a marginal role in the mature mechanism during the side test, while they are much more critical for human testing. Uh, finally, the comparison with the commercial alloy uh, used for uh, the production of the same kind of components. And here we realize that the innovative alloy containing chromium show remarkable strength. The elongation is not excellent for steel wood, while on the other hand, uh, the critical parameter is impact energy, and so is, this is to be taken into account for the final characterization of the component and uh, can be improved by the optimization of the alloy composition and of heat treatment. Here I summarize the same conclusions uh, I already and the future activities are the uh, tensile test at high temperature. This in order to check uh, the behavior of these dispersoids of uh, the precipitates containing chromium, which are supposed to be very thermal stable, and uh, uh, also the investigation of other uh, applications for this material. Thank you for.